Hi guys, my name is Shargeel and today I'll be answering some of your frequently asked questions. In order to get access to the motherboard, we must first take out these components. Get a piece of paper towel and stuff it underneath here to soak up any water that's inside the pumps. Next, grab this valve, pull it like so, then pull this side as well. Now the valve should be completely on its own. You can pull out this tube simply by taking it out like so. Now we'll be using a Phillips head screwdriver. We will be removing these two screws in order to remove the ventilation fan. And just leave it hanging on the side. Next, we must remove these three screws off of the protective plastic casing. Now, we will be removing this protective plastic case. Removing this case is a bit tricky, so follow my lead. Now we're going to use this five millimeter hex nut screwdriver to open up these screws on the motherboard. Next, we must remove this motherboard and replace it with a brand new one. Simply grab the motherboard, lift it up and pull back gently until it comes out like so. Now we will begin by disconnecting the connectors of each component one by one and replacing them on the new motherboard like so. Disconnect the first connector. Take your new motherboard and attach it to the new one. And now, do the same for all the remaining ones. Now we must reseat the motherboard in the box. Once you've completed inserting all the components, we can begin the reseating process. When reseating your motherboard, please pay close attention to these two components which have to go through two specific holes in the metal box. Now that the motherboard is properly seated, we can begin by screwing it back in. First, we have to screw in the standoff screws. Now we must place the black cover on top of the motherboard. Please make sure that all of these cables are properly lined up with the plastic cover so that the screw holes are also lined up with the cover. Now we're going to screw in these screws into these three holes to bolt the plastic cover in place. Next, we will be screwing the fan back in place. Two important things to note are the fan insertion point and the cable management of the fan. Please ensure that the cable is routed to the back of the screw insert. 
then get the fan in place right over here. You will feel a little click once the fan is in place. Now you can begin screwing the fan back in. Next, we have to insert this tube with this fitting back through this hole right here, like so. Insert this tube into this fitting. You must feel two clicks as the valve is pushed in. Two clicks ensures that the valve and the tube fitting are completely waterproof. Now we will insert this tube into this fitting. Please ensure that you feel two clicks as it is completely inserted, like so. Those two clicks on this side and on this side ensure that the fittings are all completely waterproof. It is extremely important that you feel two clicks when inserting this valve, or else this may cause a leaking in your biopod. Now that we've replaced our component, the next thing we must do is make sure our box is in line with all these cables right over here and right over here. Once they're in line, go ahead and slide the box in place. Please make sure that these three cables line up with this area right over here before you slide in the rest of the box. Now we must reconnect this one-way air valve to its respective tube, right here. The tube must go in all the way to the top of the one-way air valve. If you're having trouble putting it in, you can use a little bit of heat from a lighter to get it in all the way, like so. Now we must reinsert the reservoir intake into the reservoir cup right over here. Next, we must reconnect these two clear tubes back into the manifold of the fan. Push the box slightly and get the two tubes lined up with the manifold. Once the tubes are lined up with the manifold, you can simply push the box all the way like that. Now, we have to reinsert these two valves back into their respective fittings. Start off with this one right here. Turn the valve back down, find the insertion point, and push it all the way back in. The final step is to reinsert this fitting into this valve. Turn the valve back around down, then push it back into this ins insertion point, like so. Now that all the tubing, fittings, and valves are back in place, you have successfully replaced your component and now can begin by adding water back into your biopod.